Hello everybody. Good day. My name is Coach Promise and I welcome you to the grand finale of the 10 day free class. This is the today is the grand finale of the 10 day free class and in this video you're going to be learning how to create the 10th book out of the 10 books I promised to teach you for free. 10 over 10. The promise kept. You understand? You didn't pay anything and at the end of this video, you're going to be learning how to create. No, by the end of this video, you have successfully learned how to create 10 books for free. Wow. So, also, at the end of this video, okay, at the end of this video, you're going to be going home with your souvenir. You're going to be going home with your souvenir. And I'm so, so happy that, I'm, that I was able to find something to give all of you. And not just any random thing like plate or cup or something, but like something that will help you, you understand? So... If you have not done step one to three, you can still do it now or before. Well, I'll say my own. So, now in this video, okay, okay, after this video, okay, you publish also, also today, you're going to publish all the 10 books today, still today. You're still going to publish all those 10 books. So, well, you guys are lucky. You don't find. Now, when I started learning Amazon KDP, I never found this kind of, you know, opportunity. So, I am so glad that I've been able to give people this wonderful opportunity. So, now, in today's class, you're going to be learning how to create a food journal. A food journal. What is a food journal? So, you know, there are some people that actually track their diets, track their food intake. You understand? They want to know what they are taking every day. Maybe it's their doctor that wants to know or something, but they are not just on normal diets. Maybe because of a, a an underlying disease or, or sickness or something. But you get also... For people that are watching their weight, also for people that are gymming, you know, when you gym, nah, it's not just everything you be eating, but ah, people still run in child, but what I was told, it's not, you know, everything you be eating, at least you, or something you used to eat before you cut them so that your body will be following instructions, <laughs> you understand? So, that is where the food journal comes in. You can't just be carrying paper, okay. What did I eat on Monday? Tell me to page Monday, okay. It's been it's rice. Then you carry that paper and keep you you misplace it. But if you have a book where you can be keeping track of what you eat every day, it's your book and you can't misplace it. Doesn't mean it can't be misplaced, but you understand. It's more portable and the, the record keeping is more there. So this food journal is of high importance and it is also a recurring expense. Meaning that when you finish one page, when you finish for this particular month or week, you can't buy again. <laughs> this is what it is. You have to buy it again so that you keep keeping record. So it is a recurring expense and of high demand too. So that is it. So now we move straight into our work. So I'm back at using my 8.5 against 11. So we're going to be using 8.5 against height 11 inches and click create design. Okay. Create design. And for our manuscripts, 
what are we going to have? So now, a food journal can have many things inside, but what me I just want to do is a daily planner, then a weekly planner. I don't know if you understand. A, a daily journal, then a weekly journal. Like now, we are going to start by creating the daily one. So let's start. So here we want to go to text. And then heading. Then the heading we could carry something like in the heading we could carry something like daily meals. Daily meals. So let's keep that aside. So now in a daily meal, for some of us that eat three times in a day. You understand? Not everybody has to eat three times in a day. So if you're able to eat three times in a day, always appreciate it. People are actually going through a lot out there. So people actually eat three times in a day. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then also for some privileged people, you get to eat snacks. You understand? Okay, so that, is, that means we're going to be having breakfast lunch dinner and snacks so we're just going to come to text come here i'm going to name this one breakfast and then we'll duplicate breakfast name this one lunch and then you duplicate lunch name it dinner or supper as however you may call it then we'll also have we'll also duplicate this and name it snacks snacks okay so now you're just going to carry this and bring up here you're just going to carry that up there i'm going to show you what we're going to do next then we'll, what font size is this is 21.1 so let's change that to 21.1 and uh, so we'll zoom in a little bit, then we'll come up here, lunch, dinner, same 21.1, okay, and then snacks, same 21.1, good. So now, this is basically for whoever that is using our food journal book, okay, the, now on that breakfast, you're going to come to elements. Oh, the network is having issues. Rect You're going to type rectangle. Then you change this color. Okay, first off, let me make this. Let's see. Make the color of the background. Let's see. Um, no. No. Let's see. Ash. No. That doesn't really work well. Okay, let's still go with white. Uh, now we'll make this box ash. So now, on that breakfast, you're going to leave a very long rectangle. So whoever is using our food journal book, write whatever he or she ate as breakfast here. You can also write some other things that are needed. Maybe, um, However, the breakfast affected the person, whether the person was full or, you know, all, all, all those other information can be added there too. So, <clears throat> we do the same thing for lunch, duplicate it, do the same thing for dinner. And then, we do the same thing for snacks. So, you see, it's not really entering, so I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. Just for lunch, shift it inside. Just for dinner, shift it inside so that that of snacks can enter. Okay, so now under here, you're going to come and write dates since it's daily meal. So you write, you have to keep a space where the person will write the date. So you come, click subheading, then you drag it. 
down here and then you name it date so you can set use underscore so that's that's where the person can you know write the date or should i say the stroke date since it's a daily planner you understand the stroke date so now you're just going to reduce that a little bit and yeah it's that simple very very easy to make a food journal so just going to shift that here and centralize it beautiful our page is wonderfully done so now as it is now it's quite plain so you can okay i'm just going to shift this inside mm -hmm. you can decide to let's see now i could change this background to something another color like this then maybe come to elements add something like a um, call out um let's see something like hey canva pro canva pro see what the essentials have canva pro so i'll introduce something to you at the end of the class so love <clears throat> you that want to have canva pro there's actually a way you can have it okay let me see something like oval see oh okay this mm -hmm. Oof, and that's the problem can be adjusted don't know if this circle work okay let me type circle i need something that can adjust sideways lines and shapes okay beautiful so now we could call make this let's say red and then change the color of this to white and then we could come keep this up here daily meals you see it still works that way so you could come change the color of these other ones to white. How did I do that? You hold one, hold shift key on your on your keyboard, then select the next one. You get so you can do that to multi-select phone users. I will send another video to show you how to do it. So you see it still works that way. We change this one to white to you see it's still presentable. So you could also come here and add them um, some elements like stars mm -hmm. then you change the color of this to red you add it here or you know whatever color you choose to use well what i'm teaching you here you can you're free to customize it to whatever way you want it to be duplicate it bring it over to this other side I could flip it a little bit horizontally like this and then that's the page for our daily meals you understand so now what we are going to do now okay we can decide to make this white let me see how it look like if it were white okay it's wow it's okay it's quite impressive okay mm -hmm beautiful so now what you're going to do how many days makes a week seven so we'll make the daily meals um page to be seven so one two three four five one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven good then we're now going to come here sorry okay we're going to come here then create the weekly meals page so now the weekly meals page is literally going to be the same thing so we're just going to carry this stop okay you could copy it i'm just going to copy it and come here paste but here we'll, we'll type weekly 
weekly meals bring that in a little bit weekly meals carry it up okay so now in a week obviously you're going to have to put the day the breakfast lunch dinner snacks almost the same thing but this time we'll have to employ a table so we're just going to bring table here so now our table how is it going to be like no i don't i, don't, I won't use that one okay um let's see about this so let's color white now our table is going to have four, four columns and then seven rows the four columns are for this thing i say four columns five columns and seven rows the five this for day the day this for the breakfast this for lunch this for dinner and this for snacks and then the seven rows is for the eight actually okay seven the seven rows is for the seven days of the week one two three four five we add one two more six and seven okay now we are now going to we'll still carry this here from here and copy copy it and come back here paste we're just going to arrange it Ooh. just so now we are, we are going to arrange it in such a way that there can be space for someone to you know write something uh, this is pretty really really small actually but let's just see how it goes so um let's zoom in so that we can see what we are doing snacks keep that here dinner keep that here lunch keep that here breakfast If you mistakenly move something by mistake, you can always press Ctrl Z and it will undo whatever thing you did. Or you come up here, you see an undo button. So you now duplicate breakfast and then drag it here. You drag it here and then change it to D. D A Y. And you bold. Make it bold. So day. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to make this day because one can easily use initials like okay, months use. You understand? So day breakfast. Let me shift this over here. Day breakfast, lunch, dinner. So you see. So now under here, under here, we can still copy. Okay, okay, no. I'm not copying okay bro we'll copy this and drag it down here then here you're going to write month what month it is m o n c h the month it is okay here i think this will i should do the same thing here now for here what we are going to do is that since it's white that everybody's writing on that so we're just going to come to element type rectangle and then you're going to carry a rectangle and put here change the color to white and then we're going to put that here so that the person is going to write the date there so we're just going to copy this and then come down here and paste so the month is going to be inserted here and then we we'll increase this a little bit the month is going to be inserted there also what week of that month so i'm just going to duplicate this bring it over here i duplicate this reduce the size shift it here 
learn month then here we have week so i'm going to change this to week week words of that month you understand week so just change this thing. so you see that's really beautiful now so we have a daily planner for each day then a weekly planner at the end of the week before you start a new week so what we're going to do now the same thing i taught you you select all of them oh, shift key and then i think you can also deal with the control key control okay still you can still do with control key so both shift key and control key you can do it and then okay so now as you select everything like that you duplicate so you see now let's let me show you after seven days one two three four five six seven you now have what the weekly schedule you understand so you can duplicate it like that until it reaches stipulated number 80 88 96 104 that means we'll have to go back to book oh so that is that is all about the manuscripts of the food journal so now we move over to the book cover so now mm -hmm. my book size is now 104 okay so that means we'll have to go back to book o so now we come back here www.booko.com then we enter the normal way i taught you kdp cover templates then width our width the width of our book is 8.5 the length the height is 11 so paper type for okay page count is now 104 it's no more 100 so you see me coming to this thing what they call it to book or to get a cover template so now i'm going to, going to put my email here put my email here then consent to email yes so email cover template so always remember to check maybe next time so that they're not going to bill you of hundred dollars or whatsoever so you now click that and then click continue so you just wait a little bit and then they say the pdp cover template is on its way so you come to your email then you check and then you see it here so now this is our cover template then what size are we using now so as you can see as you can see and why is i tell you to always check our new size is 17.484 look at the one we used to use before 17.475 but now as the page the page number is no more 100 it's now 104 you see it has now increased so 17.484 against 11.250 so that's what we're going to be using now 17.484 against 11.250 then you click create new design <clears throat> So now we are making a book cover so first off we check templates if there's anything like that food journal okay here you just see mainly interiors you won't actually see something Hmm. Food journal. Oh, ha! This thing that it, it's not how it can look free. Uh, wow, it's actually free. <laughs> okay, we are lucky to find something. So now uh, this is what we are going to do. First, you carry line. And then let's know the middle that we'll know how we are going to convert this template into our own. Okay. Hi. This line. Let's just shift the line on one side first. So we're going to highlight everything like this and then shift it to this side. Then we put 
then we put our the position of our line in the middle so we can know where the the spine of the book is going to be so we do this we drag this here so now how are we going to customize this coach so now what you're going to do you zoom in so here they wrote welcome to jeans life so you could say something like welcome to Welcome to food. You say welcome to my food life. What font is this? Dreaming Outlook. So you could change this to welcome to my food life. Obviously, it's actually a food life. So we're just going to reduce the font here. And then, welcome to my food life. So here, you could change it to, you could change. Okay, so now, welcome to my food life. So you could just bring that down a little bit. Good. So now, here, on that text, you could carry text, then let's see how this would go. No. These are text templates that you can use, but some of majority of them are this thing, what they call it, are a Canva Pro restricted. So, I see this one. Uh -huh. So, Go carry this one. See where I got it from. You come to text, then you just scroll down a little bit. You see more templates like this. So go carry this one and call it food. Instead of delivery, change this to journal. I forgot. Journal. Where's the red day they gave me before? Food journal. Beautiful, it works anyway. So you do that and you just or you could even add my here my food journal could make this right so. See, it works. My food journal. Welcome to my food life, my food journal. So I'm going to remove this line. Okay, no. So we could just, some of this shit, some of these elements here, you could just duplicate them and then carry them and list her around the back here. Cherry. You know, then duplicate this. Just scatter it around the back. The back won't really show when they are ranking. They are arranging our book in Amazon. You see. So that's very, very beautiful. Welcome to my food life, my food journal. Very, very simple and short. So you know the normal deal. Once you're done creating a book, you're sharing it as PDF. So you download all pages. Always make sure that it's there. Then PDF print, download. Then we'll come to the book cover, share, download, PDF print. Oh, no, 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 no. Not PNG, please don't ever make that mistake. Not PNG. If you download it as PNG, it should come as picture, and that's not what we want. That's not what Amazon will accept. So PDF print, and then you click download. So with that, we have come 
to the partial end we are not done yet because you still need to publish all your books and then also we still need to get the souvenir and i also need to talk to you about the cp7 certificate so now we have i have successfully kept my promise and i have successfully taught you how to create 10 different types of books that are high ranking and they sell on amazon for free you understand so now you have 20 pdfs in total by the time you're done with this video and you're done creating your own you have a total of 20 pdfs so i, I want you to keep them aside because shortly after this video i'm going to be sending the video on publishing okay so shortly after this video you're going to publish all those 10 books right now so thank you very much for attending my class also remember if you have not completed step one to three after the publishing video when it's time to give you the video for how to get the souvenir and you don't get it don't blame me because i have been saying it right from video one till this video that you should make sure you complete steps one to three so that you not feel left out okay so if you have not completed it, you can still do it now before I send the video so that you will not feel left out and nobody's going to come to me and say, oh, coach, you gave people a thing you didn't give us. You understand? So make sure you complete step one to three before, the, before I send the video. Thank you very much for attending this class. I still remain coach promise.